What is going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Premier League match review. It's been so long, the last one was over three months ago now, the nil-nil draw against Brighton and back then I didn't think I would come to this point where I'd be doing another match review for this season. But here we are, the Premier League's been up and running for a few days now, obviously it started on Wednesday with the games in hand with Man City against Arsenal and Villa against Sheffield United, and I mean on Wednesday, I just, I just, I'll, I'll get this out of the way quickly, on Wednesday when I watched my first batch of Premier League games in months, I was a bit concerned, I, I, I was a bit concerned I have to say, especially after the first game, because... It wasn't really, it, it wasn't really going to plan, was it? The technology seemed to have a day off. It was, it forgot. The technology forgot. Um, the Premier League had returned. It seemed to, it, maybe it, it was just, it just fell asleep at the wrong, it, at the wrong moment. It just had, felt like it wanted to have a lie in on the day the Premier League return. But there has been goals. There has been because there has been a, a few dry games. There has been a couple of nil nils here and there. There has been yeah, a couple of boring games, especially the first one, Villa Sheffield United. F Sheffield United should have won that game. They were a bit unfortunate with the goal line technology, obviously. But I mean, there has been a few drab games uh, since the Premier League returned. But luckily, ours wasn't. We had we put in an exceptional performance. And one of our best away performances of the season so far. And oh, it, it was absolutely incredible. We absolutely steamrolled West Ham. And you could definitely tell they're fighting for survival. And I mean, for, for a team fighting relegation and fighting to preserve their status as a Premier League team, they, they, they didn't look great at all. They didn't look in great shape at all. And it's been a common theme over the past few years few days as teams have started to settle back into life in the Premier League after a few months away it's that's probably why we've had a couple of boring games because pe the, because teams are starting to find their feet again in the Premier League and that's kind of what it was it wasn't an all end-to-end -end exciting affair in this game either for the first half it was a good solid performance in the first half but the problem was, there wasn't really much chances of no. We had a couple of shots on target, but they were pretty simple for Lukas Fabianski in the West Ham net. The same goes with West Ham. Both, both sides had a couple of half chances, but they weren't really troubling either keeper. But into the second half, the second half is where it really got tasty. But in the first half, I have to say, I mean, so far this season, we've had struggles with demands of the Premier League. Uh, of the Premier League and the Europa League combined and we've I think we've played the most games out of anyone in Europe's top five leagues I think we've played almost 50 games so we've had a very busy season and I think we needed this this break obviously we didn't plan it we didn't plan for for, for this 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 pandemic to come in but it has and it's, it's kind of worked in our favor because it's been quite a hectic season with loads of games uh, with Europa League and Premier League congested at the same time and it's 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 been a welcome break and we've come back and it, we feel it, from looking at the performance today we feel, feel we look a lot more revitalized because especially at the start of this season we were really struggling defensively and we've had a common theme this season, where we we we're, we're very much the comeback team. We've we've gone behind early early on in games, and then we've come back to 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 grab a point or maybe even all three. But but for this for this game, it was all changed. It seems like it seems like three months has definitely had a considerable impact because. Instead of starting on the back foot, we started on the front foot, and maybe, maybe against better opposition, it might be different, and it might be somewhat similar to 
what what we had earlier on in the season. But it definitely it definitely felt different. It definitely felt different from the performance today. And hopefully we can start as we need to go on now and really push for a Champions League place because it was quite a disappointing end before before the season suspend was suspended. We were, we were struggling in our in our last few games to score goals. And I think three of our our last five games had the goalless, so it just shows we weren't particularly doing great, and especially that was capped off by a nil-nil draw at home to Brighton. Um, so, yeah, that just shows the kind of state we were in, and obviously we weren't we weren't in 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 the worst of states. We weren't in the worst of states, but you know. We've got to be we've got to be doing better than nil nil draws at home to Brighton and well two nil win against West Ham and we, we could easily we, we could easily slip up against these these teams I mean West Ham we have a good record against them we've won every single game we've played against them since our return to the Premier League we beat them two nil in, in December we beat them uh, we beat them one nil uh, with a Domitriore goal. Our first win of that Premier League season, so we've had a good we've had a good record against West Ham, and hopefully that this win against West West Ham now, um, hope, hopefully this win against West Ham can can really revitalise us, and we can go on a proper run now because we have a real chance of of qualifying for the Champions League and. I mean, people were saying, people were saying at the start of this season, will the Europa League be too much for us? Will we really struggle? Because, you know, we, because Burnley, in the season before we qualified, Burnley were, were playing in the Europa League, and they, it really took, took its toll on their season, and they really struggled for the, for the opening few games of their season. But once they got knocked, obviously, once they got knocked out of the Europa League, they managed to kind of stabilize their season but we've been quite we've been quite the opposite this season and we've been we've handled the Europa League and the Premier League together really really well and I have to give a lot of credit to, to the players out, out there because they played a lot of game this games this season and especially today I mean, that's it's not the best performance, away performance of the season, because they have been better. They have been better. There's still there's still minor things to improve on, obviously. I mean, that first half performance, it's probably a, th a thing to improve on is getting ahead early on and and building on that, because those goals did come quite late on in the second half and well we're known for that we're known for that as well as being being the the comeback kings we're also a, a team this season known for scoring late and we did so with two late goals so overall three three very valuable points in our quest for Champions League qualification which I think if we do qualify for the Champions League who knows what can happen I mean Leicester are, are, are a similar team to us They've experienced Champions League football as along with Premier League football before, obviously, when they won the league, and they're on course to champ qualify for Champions League this season as well because they've obviously had an exceptional season as well. Again, so it's interesting because Leicester, obviously, a mid ta mid table side, and they they were fighting for Europe uh, along with us last season. Obviously, we got it in the end. But yeah, they're a decent side. They've they've been through Champions League experiences before. They reached the quarterfinals of the Champions League, so they really know what it's like to handle the, the the Champions League and the Premier League. Although saying that, they did struggle quite a lot, and the Champions League did take its toll. Although they did do very well to reach the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Claudio Ranieri, the, the man who masterminded the Premier League title win the season before. Uh, departed the club, and Craig Shakespeare, Craig Shakespeare had to dig them out of a hole and make sure they retained their Premier League status for the 2017-18 season. So, European competitions—they definitely can have their toll. They definitely can take its toll on clubs, obviously such as Burnley and Leicester. But I think we, we've been—we've uh, we, been 
a within a different example, one who's gone against the, the status quo and and gone above and beyond with expectations, and we've done it even better than that season. So hopefully, hopefully we can qualify for the Champions League, and obviously it's a big ask. It's a big ask with the squad we've got. We've got to do a lot of reinvestment in the summer if we do end up qualifying for the Champions League. But we've had a very good season so far. A very good win at the London Stadium today. Really happy with a 2-0 win. And hopefully now we've got Bournemouth in the in the week. We've got a really good run of fixtures now. We've beaten West Ham. We've got Bournemouth up next. And we've got, uh, we've got Villa uh, next Saturday as well. So we've got... Uh, quite a few relegate uh, relegation threatened teams to play now, and it's a massive game. We've got to beat Bournemouth, and we've also got to beat Villa, Villa as well. Because not only uh, not only is it is it Midlands pride at stake, it's also it's, it's also a game we've got to win. They're struggling, so are Bournemouth. We've beat some one struggling team, West Ham. That's ticked off the list now. Now we've got to, got to get another. Three points against Bournemouth and also against Villa as well. So we've got to make sure we keep focus now. Obviously, it's a good win. It's a good, it's a good away performance. There have been better. There have definitely been better away performances this season. Obviously, the 2 0 win against Manchester City at the Etihad definitely stands out among the rest. But a very good performance, and hopefully, we can continue that uh, that good. That good run a form now that so we have carried over from the win at the London Stadium into the midweek fixture against Bournemouth at home. Yeah, I hope you had it have enjoyed this match review. It's been so long. It has been so long since I have done a match review and I, I didn't I didn't think that I would get to this point where I'd do another match review this season, but here we are. Three months down the line, and I'm back with the match reviews. Well, if you have d enjoyed the first one in three months, make sure to smash that like button, and I shall see you in midweek with a review of the Bournemouth game. Hopefully, it's another three points to propel us to an unlikely but amazing Champions League qualification. Until then, goodbye, guys.